Good morning. This is the video update briefing for February 2nd, 2018. Let's get right into it. First, we've got some new things happening in operations that uh, you, you, uh, everybody needs to know about. Uh, one of the things is, as you know, we got some new rescues in. We got four new rescues in. I got some pictures of them for those of you who have not seen them yet. Just to bring you up to speed, you got nine more that are still in bi uh, build. And we also have nine engines that are in build, and some of those are going to begin arriving in May. So there was a little bit of, of um, kind of uh, curiosity about what we got going on. Another thing that's been uh, highly questioned is the timeline on the station and uh, unit renumbering. Well, phase one uh, it should start next week of the units, and that's the units south of Highway 60 for the most part. There's a couple of exceptions, but for the most part, those south of Highway 60 will begin next week. Phase two and three will begin in approximately uh, two to three weeks, which is the, the rest of the county. There was a uh, There's a thing that the Sheriff's Department's got to do with their computer servers in between they want to make sure it's right before we start phase two and three so that's why they're not one right after the other phase four which is then renumbering the stations the pager you know doing all the pager reprogramming cad changes aliases and all that stuff will begin immediately after that also we've applied for the uh, 2017 afg grant to put the cpr machines on all of our rescue trucks and we expect that announcement coming out uh, whether if we were successful or not in the next upcoming months and uh, there was a flyer put out by uh, Deputy Chief Lincolns regarding the post decon uh, fire scene training at Polk State College uh, Center for Public Safety that's on uh, February 15th so re uh, relook at that flyer to get everything you're supposed to RSVP and uh, to if you're going to go to that that's going to be a great class as promised, here's some pictures of, well, three of them anyway, of our, uh, uh, the new rescues. This is a new color scheme. So again, nine more of these coming in and, uh, nine more engines in the, in the future, not too distant future. Some of the things from training happening, the next medic training class begins, uh, February the 19th, uh, tar, uh, the target solutions training on the D10 is out right now. Uh, Lisa told me that she's, they've put it out there on Target Solutions, so all that stuff's out there now. The 2018 protocols are going to be released March 1st. That's the expected day, that the updates for the 2018. Also, training folks are putting the monthly po protocol reviews for medics on Target Solutions. So they'll pick a topic, uh, protocol, and review it and go over pretty good on that. Those are, those are good to do. Also, um, some of you may have heard, hopefully you've heard by now, We've got more of uh, the flu shot vaccinations coming in. In fact, Holly went down today. It's in. It's arrived today on Friday, and we're going to start going out and taking it to the field to, for those of you who would like to have it uh, but didn't get, either didn't get an opportunity to get it the first time or, or uh, for whatever. Uh, we want to make sure it's available to everybody. So we've got a number of doses, I think about 100 doses, and we can get more if we need it. But uh, Doc uh, Banerjee uh, has really uh, strongly suggested or strongly lobbied that everyone should get this, especially in our business because of the amount of sick people that we come in contact with. Have some stuff to show you on the next slide about the flu. What this is, is this shows the um, flu uh, uh, diagnosis by discharge data from the ERs uh, or the EDs. Now this does not include Winter Haven or Bartow data. So these numbers would be a lot higher than this if we included both of those hospitals. So if you look, these are daily discharges about where the diagnosis of flu has been confirmed, I guess, by a physician or a test or something like that. This is not just people who think they have it. These are, this is the discharge data. So for everyone that actually goes to the hospital with it, you know, there's a number of folks that don't go to the hospital. So, uh, it's a lot higher than this. The, uh, um, center for disease, not, well, not C CDC, but the health department, the local stuff, uh, they, they, they're, they publish this weekly, uh, I get a morbidity report and this flu attachment, it's real bad in Polk County and it has not peaked yet. So it's getting worse, uh, rather than, than leveling off. So I would encourage you guys to, uh, to take that shot if you haven't had it yet or haven't had the flu. Community risk reduction. That's the uh, new name of the fire marshals branch to prevention bureau. Uh, so they want to have a couple of things. They, they found some of our crews have found, uh, unpermitted illegal adult care facilities. So they want you to notify them 
uh, of that. If you come across anything that just doesn't look right, like uh, these uh, a bunch of folks, adult care facilities that are not permitted or licensed or anything like that are inspected. Also, a lot of folks are wanting to burn outdoor. There's a pamphlet out about uh, the rules, and it's only natural and organic vegetation. You can't burn garbage and, and plastics and rubber and things like that. Setback requirements, I got a slide on that coming up. And uh, the, the daylight hours from 9 to an hour before sunset, so that kind of stuff. And the, the bottom line to this is if you've someone's violated this and won't uh, – uh, won't comply call the field deputy and they'll they'll get an environmental crime deputy there and and we want you to send the the community risk reduction folks uh, some details so they want to look up ha habitual offenders and things like that so we want them taken care of also smoke alarms for the ones we use to get them replaced companies must submit the forms um, that and that's our mechanism for replacement for the Red Cross. We got to sign it and do all that stuff, saying, "Hey, we used one," and make sure somebody signs it. And the uh, unit number would be helpful. As I told you, uh, the setbacks requirement. This is out of the pamphlet we got. If you see, it's it, it's fairly simple: 25 feet from your house, 150 feet from other people, 50 feet from a road, 25 feet from wildlands or anything else, and eight eight foot diameter. It's just general. I want to send out the pamphlet to you guys electronically so you could study it if you wanted to see that well that's about it for today uh hopefully um it won't be as long next time before i have another one of these briefings but any questions or comments i'll try to get back to you it's rick parnell at polk-county.net um, other than that you guys be safe and keep doing the great job that you're doing